I've started to play with the Shadow Priest a little bit, so it looks like um, Mind Flight and Mind Seer are getting a little bit of a buff. Um, so that's good to know. And then um, let's focus in here on Shamans. Earthquake causes uh, the Earth within 8 yards of a target location to tremble, dealing. Um, instead, it's been bumped up to 169.1% of nature spell damage over 6 seconds. So it's getting a slight buff. So we're seeing like little tweaks and tunings. Aftershock, your spells deal earth shock and earthquake damage. So that's what changed. Call the Thunder, your maximum maelstrom is increased by 30. The maelstrom cost of the earth shock and earthquake talent reduced by 10. Elemental Shaman level 60 talent, Elemental Shaman level 60 talent. So it's a, 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 a 30 talent, an Elemental Shaman level 30 talent. So Call the Thunder has been moved to a level 30 talent. Chain Lightning hurls a ball of lightning dealing 30 slash 34.5, so it got a buff. Earthquake causes the earth within that to deal more damage, so Earthquake got a buff to 169.1. Elemental Shaman, Flame Shock, buffed. Lightning Lasso, 0.2% uh, of the maximum nature's health damage over 6 seconds to PvP talent, and it's channeled. Oh, it stuns a target and it deals just 2% of their maximum health, but it's a channeled stun. I'm not sure how effective that is. Masters of Elements looks like it got shift from a level 30 talent to a level 60 talent. Surge of Power also applies Flame Shock to another target within 8 yards, so that's the change to that. Elemental and Restoration, Healing Surge, a quick surge of energy, so Healing Surge has been buffed. Um, I'm not sure if Enhance has that. Decreased damage healing by 46%. So, actually this is a buff, the way I'm reading it. So, unfortunately they make the game so complex. Decreased damage healing by 43% from down, down from 46. So, since it's a de decrease, it's a 3% buff. So, Enhancement has once again been buffed. And it looks like their offhand weapon has been buffed. And maybe I'm reading that wrong for Elemental as well that previous nerf yeah it decreases so that's been a buff as well so elemental their offhand or whatever has been buffed I'm sorry about that let's focus in on warlock <clears throat> warlock casting circle summon a casting circle for eight seconds while inside the casting circle you're immune to silence interrupts interrupt effects learning casting circle causes unending resolve to no longer grant immunity to silence and interrupt effects it's a PvP talent 2% of base mana, and that what they've done is reduced the cast time of Casting Circle from 1.5 seconds to 0.5 seconds. So it's almost, it's very difficult to interrupt. It can be interrupted. It's not impossible to interrupt. Um, so Demon Armor. Here's a PvP talent. Affliction and Destruction. So they're not giving it to, um, to Demonology, which is terrible. Demon Armor protects the casters, increasing maximum health by 25%. It's an instant. I don't think we have this ability yet. 15%, so it's a 25%. 15% increase by armor by 125%. It's a PvP talent. Instant. Requires Warlock level 25. So let's reread this again. Let me see if I can scroll over. Demon Armor protects the caster, increasing maximum health by 15% and increases armor by 125%. It doesn't tell us the duration. It's an instant ability. Unlocked at level honor level 40. So they're not allowing us to like get away really, right? That's the problem with just affliction and destruction. But they're giving us the armor, which is what I talked about in my previous uh, PvP videos that we really need something like I said like every demon we have out we'd get armor like a 5% armor buff so say you have 5 imps out you get 50% armor out so the more imps and things that you get summoned out the stronger you are and you, there's a lot of instant cast summons you know that's where inner demons could be a lot more powerful as an example but they're just giving um, affliction and destruction this talent and I read this on the forums, which is why I'm going through MMO Champion to parse it out because nobody else was talking about it. And since this information is so hard to come by about what the future changes is, this should be coming out September 25th. 
but I think you might have to wait a little longer. I imagine this will be a huge buff for Affliction Warlocks in Arena, by the way. So I was playing some Arena last night with Night Silver, not to get too off on a tangent, but with a Shadow Priest, so Shadow Cleave was probably going to come back because we're doing a lot of damage, and it looks like basically if a Blizzard is finally taking note that like Warlocks are totally un underrepresented, there's no, in the top 200, there's no Warlocks. Demonology. Demon Bolt now sends a Fiery Soul buff of Demon Bolt again. Uh, it looks, so they've already buffed it by apparently 15%. Now it's getting, so there's like, I think auras, and then there's actually like the tooltip spell. So like, remember when we went out of the beta, Demonology had a minus 30% damage aura. A lot of those damage that, that effect has been reversed. So there's a lot of funny math, you know, a lot of percent based math that goes on. And that's one other problem if they actually kept it numerically instead of just like, oh, we're buffing this by 5% or nerfing this by 5%. I think they actually buff the numbers. It would make, it would be easier to balance. But I wonder if it has to do something with the, the base code, why they can only do it percentage wise. Interesting. So Demon Bolt getting a, about a, a 10% buff. Soul Strike getting a buff, a huge buff. So Soul Strike now will do about double damage. Now, Soul Strike is, remember that's when your Fell Guard is out, you get an instant attack. The problem is, is that um, it uses a global because everything in BFA uses a global. And I mean, I don't like how it uses a global because literally every 10 seconds you have to spend a global. And you know me, I hate pressing keys all the time. But, you know, unless I'm playing my Shaman, which I love it. But for playing a Warlock, I just don't like pressing it. An instant cast ability. The Soul Strike does decent damage. And it does decent damage in PvP. It does like 3k. The nice thing, though, is it generates a Soul Shard. But since it's getting buffed, it's time to look at it. And also, its base power has gone up from 0 0.5 to 0.8. So it's gotten overall a big nice buff, and that might be the best in um, that might be the best talent choice in that row. I think it competes with Summon Vile Fiend, and there is no talk about getting some Summon Vile Fiend. Shadow Bolt for Destruct Demonology and Destruction has been buffed by five percent. It's all around um, nice buffs for Warlock, but the big buff, let me just reiterate, is the Demon Armor. I'll just highlight over it again. Protects the caster, increases maximum health by 15%. I don't think the health increase is that big of a deal in PvP. I don't understand. A lot of people, the way I understand damage in PvP is it's percent based. If I do a one, if I increase my health by 15% and I do a base attack that does 2%, if you have a million health or 10,000 health, it does 2% base damage. So Blizzard, we need a lot more transparency on how health works in PvP because people have more stamina and better gear. I don't think that affects it. I know armor affects it. So the armor increased by 125% is a big deal. So I'll make you much more tankier against um, classes. And I wish, the problem is if they gave this as a PvP talent to demonology, so they would have summon fell stalkers, which is basically a baseline talent that every demonology warlock picks and they should fix that somehow so again it's just too much of a necessity so they should baseline it probably to give demonology more flex and make it more again more represented in pvp they should give demonology demon armor i think too make it demonology super tanky don't buff the damage on demonology then but make them very tanky class um, that's an option that you, you can go with the, what this is going to do, though, I want to just reiterate it. I think it's going to make Affliction very powerful. I'm just thinking in my head that um, if you give them the survivability and the fact that they bought what Blizzard is saying is, well, you can't cast your spells off in Arena because you're getting trained by Melee. So here's some armor. And now also we're going to buff Casting Circle. So when I was playing Arena, just a few games with Knights Over, like five games, with this decked out Shadow Priest, the Shadow Priest had free reign. They just trained, they trained me the whole time, which I'm totally fine with that because I'm used to playing a Warlock. But I think Casting Circle, what I'm trying to say is I can't get off my Unstable Afflictions because you have two Pummels that are coming down on you. Well, instead, now you drop 
the casting circle is useless because it has a 1.5 second cast which can be pummeled. So instead now you have a 0.5 second cast which is very hard to pummel and now you can drop your five unstables off and that will peel off, they will put enough pressure on the enemy team in some way that they'll have to basically peel off and they have eight seconds. Yes, your unending resolve will use it. Let's take a look at the cooldown of summoning circle. It's got a minute cooldown. Unending resolve I think has a two minute cooldown. So I think casting circle will have a place with affliction warlocks and arena because you can just stand still, especially against double melee. So your PvP talents for Affliction will be Demon Armor, Casting Circle, and what's another word? A Curse of some kind. Or another survivability mechanic. I'm thinking Curse of Weakness, Spell Reflection, or Curse of Tongues. And I recently talked about my PvP video. Curse of Tongues is extremely overrated. So say you have Rogue Mage Priest. The Rogue is going to sit on you the whole game. So you have Demon Armor to help you out with that tankiness, to really kind of help out. And then basically you have Curse of Tongues for the, the, uh, for the healer or the mage. And then uh, you have cur like Curse of, uh, what is it? You have Casting Circle for the, the rogue, essentially. And remember, you cannot be counterspelled while you're in the Casting Circle. Because you can't, you're immune to silence and interrupt effects. So you will be able to get off fears, you'll be able to get off spells, you'll be able to do everything. So I think Affliction, this Demon Armor is a big deal. And is going to move Affliction from maybe bottom of the pack, which their damage is so high. Again, the problem with the tuning with the Affliction Wall Axe is that if you tune them a little bit, they can just zoom right to the top because their damage is so high. And they're actually not nerfing any damage aspects of it and L and Han by the way um let me just talk so that's all i really want to say about a, a demonology warlocks and Mel warlocks and generals i was playing enhancement the other day after the five percent buff they feel strong i mean they feel really good and they're in a good spot they are trying to buff dks i don't know enough about dks i played one back in like burning crusade or something you know like it was but they are trying to work on dks Okay, here we go. New Azerite uh, talents. Um, a few of them. Forbidden Knowledge. Remember, I just talked crap about Forbidden Knowledge. They're trying to make de they're buffing Demon Bolt by about thirty percent. So instead of a thousand damage per slot of Demon for Demon Bolt when you're called Dreadstalker's proc off the Forbidden Knowledge, this is for Demonology. It doesn't work. And PvP, it needs to be retuned. Uh, because it's totally busted and I showed a video of that go watch the video forbidden knowledge sucks They need to tune it to actually where it hits 50k and BGs Then it would be okay. It would warrant the three and a half second cast timer that you're spending on and that's with uh, about 350 360 gear score with good haste on Demonology so that's pretty much what you're gonna get Baleful invocation. This is a new one. This is a new uh and probably they're going to add a lot of other new ones too. This is a cool one for demonology. Your demonic tyrant, demon fire, deals 375 additional damage. And summoning your demonic tyrant instantly generates five soul shards. Wow. I don't know what to think about that. Your demonic tyrant's demon fire, so the, the little balls that he throws at his opponent, deal 375 more damage. That's pretty good. And summoning your demonic tyrant instantly generates five soul shards. So this is one that you wouldn't stack like you're doing with all the other cheesy Azerites. You get one slot of this. You sum summon your demonic tyrant and you get five soul shards. I'm trying to think of the builds where you're really lacking. So instead of picking up, this is where you probably could use doom instead of sacrif um, sacrifice souls or whatever. Because now you're actually generating, instead of generating the demonic cores, the combo pieces to put together. So now you could use Summon Felguard. So say you pick up this Azerite trait. You could actually get Summon Felguard. You get the bigger Felguard Summon, which does a lot of damage on a two minute cooldown, mind you. So that doesn't work. So that takes one Soul Shard. You summon your Dreadstalker, summon this guy. You generate, maybe if you have a demonic core, you shoot a demonic core out, 
you summon your fell lord observer then you summon your demonic tyrant you instantly generate five soul shards so you've used five shards really you've I remember i've given you the benefit of the doubt that you're generating one shard and you're also playing with doom more damage instead of uh the sacrifice souls this could be something um Demonology does not have good Azerite traits. And this one, it could be decent. But I don't know. Soul shards aren't really the question with demonology. It's about getting a busted ass trait like Affliction has with a Sudden Onset or this um, Inevitable Demise. And Blizzard knows these things exist. They've accepted it, they've buffed it or whatever, and they've done it. So I'm on MMO Champion here, MMO Dash Champion. I want to take a look at Shaman and Azerite tra trait. Okay, so Shaman, they have Tectonic Thunder, Earthquake deals 100% physical damage instantly. And it's a 25% chance to make your Chain Lightning to be an instant cast. It's a new one. I don't play Elemental, so I don't know how good that is. And uh, I can't speak to it, but it seems cool. I mean, the Earthquake animation at least seems cool. I don't know if it does enough damage, and it probably doesn't do enough damage in PvP. So, let's wrap up the video. In conclusion, Demonology, still um, interesting stuff happening. Again, a work in progress, but uh, needs some more help. Um, definitely, um, by the way, in PV, P PvE, Demonology is now simming near the top. So, Demonology Warlocks uh, doing very good, but that's a sim. So a lot of the mechanical fights are in Uldir are not going to be that good. Um, especially against like Mother, things like that, where you have to move around a lot. Demonology, though, definitely in PvE is getting better. Questionable, I haven't played Demonology, but um, Enhancement Shamans are in a good spot. Um, they're definitely in a really good spot. And I think they've said Blizzard, the development team feels like Enhancement does not need any tuning. I completely agree. They have all the utility tools. They seem pretty good. Affliction will be in a phenomenal spot if they give them this demon armor. Demon armor, especially in battlegrounds. I feel like two of the uh, PvP talents in Affliction aren't really required because the Affliction core spec is very powerful. So I use like Curse of Shadows because I'm just like whatever. Um, but now you can use other abilities in place of that, like demon armor. So yeah, you can give up your 20% 20, 20 damage, 10% damage over time. Pick up Casting Circle for Arena. And I think you're going to be very powerful. And you're going to see a lot of Warlocks climb to the top. And uh, Warlocks will become very scary. And they'll probably tune them down, actually, um, when they start losing. Because that's how Blizzard thinks. Uh, Warlocks in Arena are okay right now. But you have to have good healing to make them good. That a healer that can keep you up being trained by two melee. You have to be in coordination of CCs. But the damage output is insane. I'll post some videos today of uh, me playing with the Shadow Priest a little bit to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Ideally, the comp you'd want to run is Shaman, Resto Shaman, Shadow Priest, Affliction Warlock. Affliction Warlock would have three pieces of the Sudden Onset. I don't know what Shadow Priest would have. And then the uh, Shaman would drop Sky Fury Totem. So you have a 20% damage increase. The damage output would be insane. All the CC and damage that you have, and then you have the Hex from the Shaman. It's actually a very, very powerful comp, I think. Um, the problem is, is the weakness in the comp at the moment is the Warlock, because the Warlock can just get dropped, and he doesn't have the survivability aspect. But Demon Armor will not have the survivability. Hopefully I made myself clear in this video. Tarks, orcs, goblins, like, subscribe, comment. See you guys in the next video.